What's up everybody and welcome to Northeast Preparedness. Today I wanted to show you a last ditch emergency kit that I threw together in an old Condor H2O pouch. This kit was built purely for fun. I just wanted to see if I could come up with a practical kit out of gear I already had laying around. So a lot of the stuff that I've included you may have already seen in previous videos. The idea of a kit like this would be to complement your existing bug out bag or a larger survival kit. In a scenario where you may have lost your main gear, this could get you by in a pinch. I wouldn't expect to survive off this kit for more than 24 to 48 hours. It includes the bare minimum that you would need to keep yourself alive in a shit hits the fan situation. So let's start by taking a look at the Condor H2O pouch. It's made of 600D polyester and it's 10 inches tall and 4 inches in diameter. The smaller front pocket is 6 inches tall, 4 inches wide, and 1 inch deep. It can easily hold up to a 32 ounce Nalgene bottle. It includes plenty of molly webbing around the outside for attaching other items and two straps on the rear for attaching it to another pack. It also has two D-rings for attaching a strap so it can easily be carried by itself. The zippers are not YKK but they slide very freely without any catches or snags. So now let's take a look at what I've included in this kit. We'll start with the main compartment. The first thing I've included is about 7 feet of bright orange paracord. Next I have two 30 gallon trash can liners. An SOL emergency bivy blanket. a large Mylar space blanket, an 18 ounce stainless steel nesting cup, and a 24 ounce stainless steel clean canteen bottle. Inside the bottle I have a cotton bandana, a Railvac headlamp, a Sawyer Mini water filter, a single glow stick, a few ramen flavor packets for broth, a couple of instant coffees, and a couple of flavor packets for water. On the back of the pouch I put a paracord bracelet for extra cordage. Inside the small pocket I have a small fire kit. It includes a lighter, a box of matches, a single wet fire, some cotton pads, and a Fresnel lens. Next I have a small first aid kit that has band-aids, alcohol prep pads, Tylenol, and Benadryl. Two doses of emergency drink mix a bottle of Neosporin that can be used for wounds or with the cotton pads to start a fire, my K-Bar piggyback neck knife, a Smith's knife sharpening tool, a Rayovac pen light, Six spare AAA batteries for the pen light and the headlamp. And a cheap multi-tool that I have literally had for about 20 years. I also threw a couple of cheap carabiners and a whistle on the outside.
This is definitely not a be-all, end-all survival kit, and it's no replacement for a bug-out bag. But if you had nothing else, this could absolutely get you by for a couple of days. As always, if you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. If you didn't, leave it a dislike. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you in the next video.